Around 2,800 teenagers are killed in car crashes every year in the United States. That's about eight teenagers each day. And this is according to the Centers for Disease Control. That's in addition to more than 227,000 teens who are injured in crashes each year, about 623 people per day. Hi there, I'm Amanda Mushro with autoinsurance.com. And to better understand what parents can do to keep their teens safe behind the wheel, we're looking at data that reveals which teen drivers are at the greatest risk for crashes and what cars are involved in crashes most often. We analyze data on drivers aged 16 through 19 from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, also known as the NHTSAs, crash reporting sampling system. So let's dive in. To get started, let's look at some teen driving facts. The Federal Highway Administration reported that in 2021, there were over 9 million teen drivers in the United States, making up about 5% of all licensed drivers. However, the number of teen drivers is on the decline. In 1983, 80% of 18-year-olds and 46% of 16-year-olds had their driver's license. But in 2021, only 60% of 18-year-olds and 25% of 16-year-olds had their driver's license. Some of the reasons behind the decline is teens are more climate conscious and find other ways to get where they need to go. Also, rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft allow teens to delay getting their driver's licenses. According to the NHTSA, in 2021, teen drivers made up 0.04% of all licensed drivers involved in fatal crashes. This is the same percentage as drivers in the 20 to 24 age range and the 25 to 29 age range. The rates do go down for drivers after the age of 30, dropping to 0.03% and at 40, decreasing to 0.02%. Let's break down who these teen drivers are and what is happening when they get behind the wheel. When it comes to teen males versus females, who is more likely to be involved in a car crash? Crashes are slightly more frequent among teenage boys. At ages 16 and 19, boys make up 56% of the drivers in crashes. At age 17, it's 52%, and at 18, it's 53%. Young male drivers may be more at risk for crashes because they participate in aggressive driving more than young female drivers. Aggressive driving is any behavior that puts drivers, passengers, and property at risk. This could be speeding, running red lights, and tailgating other vehicles, to name a few. When are teen crashes most likely to occur? The data says between 2 and 6 p.m. This is when teenage drivers are leaving school and it coincides with peak commuter hours. This means there are more distractions and obstacles for young drivers to navigate. Also, 50% of teenage driving related crashes occur on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, which is a time when teens aren't in school and may be out partying and hanging out with their friends. Why are teens involved in so many crashes? Well, 35% of all teen driver crashes were front to rear, also known as rear-ending crashes. Often, these types of crashes occur because drivers are distracted. What's distracting these teens? Well, talking or texting on cell phones, having passengers in the car, eating, or changing radio stations. According to the CDC, 60% of teens 18 and older admit to texting and driving in the past 30 days, compared to 16% of 15 and 16 year olds. Why the increase? Younger drivers usually need adults in the car to supervise their driving. Once teen drivers no longer have adults in their cars, they may be tempted to pull out their phones and text while driving. We already know that texting while driving can greatly increase the likelihood of crashing. This is true for drivers of all ages, especially inexperienced teen drivers. Other ways teens are distracted? Having friends in the car. The AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety Study found the likelihood of crashes among 16 and 17 year old drivers increased by 44% when there was another minor in the car doubled with two minor passengers and quadrupled with three or more minor passengers. 
However, the rates decreased 62% when a passenger aged 35 or older was in the vehicle. This is probably because teens are more likely to follow the rules of the road when mom or dad is in the passenger seat. Also, when teens drive with their friends, aggressive behavior increases. In fact, for a boy, aggressive driving occurs three times as often when they have a female passenger in the car compared to when they are driving alone. When there's another boy in the car with a male driver, the risk is slightly higher, according to the NHTSA. Teenage boys tend to show off or attempt to look cool in front of their peers while driving, and the results can end up being deadly. Let's switch gears and talk about alcohol and drug related crashes. It's a scary topic for parents, but one that definitely needs coverage. The CDC says that drinking any amount of alcohol before driving increases the crash risk among teen drivers. So let's look at the numbers from the NHTSA from 2021 of teen drivers who were involved in fatal car crashes and of those teens, how many had BACs of 0.08% or higher? 20% of 16-year-olds, 23% of 17-year-olds, 24% of 18-year-olds, and 27% of 19-year-olds had BACs above 0.08% as drivers in fatal car crashes. The increase in alcohol impairment every year is definitely concerning. When it comes to which teen drivers are more likely than others to drive under the influence, crash report sampling system data reveals that male teenagers are about twice as likely to be involved in alcohol or drug-related crashes than teen female drivers. The CDC data also shows that 24% of male drivers between 15 and 20 years old and 17% of female drivers between 15 and 20 years old who were involved in fatal crashes had been drinking prior to the crash. Finally, 3.6 million drivers between 16 and 25 admit to driving under the influence of marijuana within the past year, according to the 2020 National Survey on Drug Use and Health. Looking at all of the data on teen driver car crashes can be unsettling for parents. However, knowing the biggest pitfalls can help parents protect their kids once they hand over the car keys. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video. For more information on all things auto insurance, including how to find your perfect policy, be sure to visit us at autoinsurance.com. See you in the next video.